Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to Triple N Media I am Dr Nick Nickam a cardiologist and today I want to talk to you about uh, aspirin should you be taking aspirin what is the right dose of aspirin for prevention of uh, cardiovascular events in the future what kind of aspirin should you be taking should you be taking plain aspirin should you be taking uh, enteric coated aspirin for the longest of time as cardiologists we have been recommending aspirin for prevention of future cardiovascular events such as heart attack stroke or death these are known as major cardiovascular events or mes what is the right dose of aspirin and what is the right kind of aspirin and who should be taking the aspirin to begin with not all age groups need aspirin as a medication for primary prevention of cardiovascular events in the future so this article is going to shed a lot of light and this article is based on one of the recent studies that is that was published in uh, american journal of medical association but before i go into that article i want to talk to you about what is the risk of taking aspirin we know aspirin is useful in in a certain age group population who are at increased risk of having cardiovascular events because of risk factors like hypertension diabetes high cholesterol obesity and peripheral vascular disease these are the patients who may be eligible for but at what age they should be taking and are there any contraindications we're going to look at all those things here's an article that was reported in the journal of the american medical association cardiology section on October 4, 2023, looking at the effectiveness and safety of enteric coated versus uncoated aspirin in patients with cardiovascular disease. This is looking at the usefulness of aspirin in patients with cardiovascular disease. They looked at 15,000 people who were taking aspirin 81 mg and compared those to people taking aspirin 325 mg and in this 81 mg and 325 mg they were further divided into those who were taking enteric coated aspirin versus those who were taking uncoated or plain aspirin in the 81 mg arm on the other side 325 mg group they divided them divided them into two namely those taking enteric coated 325 mg aspirin versus those taking 325 mg plain aspirin and here are the results of uh, that particular study it looks kind of complicated but let me simplify this by saying this looked at the death myocardial infarction and stroke these are known as the major cardiovascular adverse events or mes which is a common terminology in the field of cardiology looking at cardiovascular risk factors in the future based upon an intervention be it aspirin be it medications control of diabetes hypertension etc etc here let's look at the, the one at the top the one at the top is this little orange one which is uh, related to the uncoated aspirin 81 mg 81 mg aspirin and look at the mortality uh, the uh, uh, the major cardiovascular events over a period of 36 months that's 3 years as you can see there was a 13% cardiovascular events in the 81 mg aspirin and if you look at the the, the bottom line which is uh, like like if you look at the bottom line here which is kind of a cyan color this is the one which is cyan color entry coated 325 mg so at the end of 42 months those people who were taking entry coated 325 mg aspirin had a lower major cardiovascular events compared to those who were taking uncoated or plain 81 mg aspirin for the longest time you know we have been recommending 81 mg but based on this study it looks like 325 mg has a much better reduction in the cardiovascular uh, uh, events in the future and that may be related to the fact that uh, 81 mg aspirin may be the normal maybe the general recommendation but it 
varies with person to person depending upon their ability to absorb the aspirin. And if you take 81 milligrams of aspirin and if your body doesn't absorb all the aspirin, then it may not be effective. Whereas say 325 milligrams may provide enough uh, aspirin in the circulation to neutralize the effect of uh, the stickiness of the platelets. That's the main region, reason why aspirin is prescribed. So that is looking at the major cardiovascular events. The second part of taking aspirin is the risk of bleeding. So let's look at the risk of bleeding. And here is major bleeding. The incidence of major bleeding was highest in those taking uncoated aspirin, plain aspirin, 81 milligrams. And in patients who were taking uh, uncoated aspirin, 325 milligrams, uh, surprisingly, the major cardiovascular events were much less. And in those taking uh, uh, the entry coated aspirin 325 milligram the major bleeding was slightly higher so the lower the dose lower is the incidence of uh, major bleeding the higher the dose the higher is the incidence of uh, major bleeding and let's look at minor gastrointestinal bleeding we have a similar picture here the ones with the uncoated aspirin had a much higher incidence of uh, bleeding compared to those with the, the cyan color entry coated aspirin 325 milligrams uh, and as you can see that is the, the GI bleeding is much less. In summary a 325 milligram entry coated aspirin provided a pretty good protection against major cardiovascular events. It also reduced the risk of bleeding compared to the uncoated aspirin. Now, the American Heart Association and the American College of Cardiology makes recommendation as to who should be taking aspirin, at what age group they should be taking aspirin, and what is the normal recommended dose which may vary from this particular study which I just posted. And this is based upon the USPSTF. I don't know if you can see my arrow here. Okay, here's my arrow. USPSTF uh, study, which is the primary prevention, this one, Preventive United States Preventive Service Task Force, which is entitled with the responsibility of coming up with the recommendations of aspirin for various groups. And the first recommendation that they made is low dose aspirin, 75 to 100 milligrams taken orally, must be considered for primary prevention of cardiovascular events among people age, between the ages of 40 and 70 who are at the risk of having cardiovascular disease to start with. What are the risk factors? I already talked to you about hypertension, high cholesterol, obesity, diabetes, and peripheral vascular disease. If you have any of these risk factors, then it is recommended to take 75 to 100 milligrams of uh, preferably an entry coated aspirin between the age for those who are between the ages of 40 and 70. The second uh, recommendation they came up was Low dose aspirin 75 to 100 milligram should not be administered on a routine basis for primary prevention of cardiovascular diseases among adults over 70 years. That's the second recommendation. And the final recommendation is low dose aspirin 75 to 100 milligram should not be administered for primary prevention of cardiovascular disease among adults with any type of increased risk of bleeding. So if you, have, if you are in the age group 40 to 70, and if you have risk factors for heart disease, which I talked, which I mentioned, like hypertension, diabetes, high cholesterol, obesity, and peripheral vascular disease, you should not be taking aspirin if you have increased risk of bleeding. So ladies and gentlemen, these are some of the conclusions based upon the study from the JAMA or the Journal of the American Medical Association and the ACC recommendations.
hopefully this will give you some insight as to who should be taking the aspirin at what age group they should be taking the aspirin what is the right dose of aspirin and what is the right kind of aspirin you should be taking i for all for all <laughs> medical recommendations i would suggest you talk to your primary doctor you talk to your cardiologist before you make any decision about whatever type of uh, preventative step you need to take thank you so much for watching this presentation and please please do share our youtube channel and please do please please do and share this with your friends and family thank you so much mm -hmm.